Hello everyone, it's Mr. Evan from the Indiana State Museum, your early childhood engagement specialist. And today we are going to be exploring heat. Now we're going to do two quick experiments today. And for these experiments, all we need are two glasses of water, one that's hot, one that's cold, some food coloring, and then some straws. Now I've laid out a nice rag here. Normally I would do this in my kitchen, but I couldn't quite get a good camera angle, but it's always important to have a space where you can get a little bit messy. Now we're going to be exploring how heat interacts with water today. So I've got my glass of hot water. Watch what happens when I pour some red food coloring into the hot water. Okay, yeah, look how it just spreads around. Doesn't really stay in one spot too well. That's because with heat, those water molecules, they're moving around a whole ton. And there's some stirring that's happening already with this hot water. Now it's not too hot. I can still put my hand on it so it'll feel fine. But look, it's already, the glass is pretty much all red. Now compare that with this frosty blue water over here. It's a lot slower to mix, as you can see. It's kind of staying in one spot, it's staying clumped together. When we drop the red food coloring into the hot water, it kind of went down and dispersed. This one's kind of staying to one side, the side that I dropped it in. So I'm gonna to need to kind of swirl things around a little bit for my next experiment. I'm gonna do the same over here. Now with our next experiment, we're going to actually see heat rising in action. So we've got our hot water, and we've got our cold water. So I'm gonna use a clear straw as a pipette. Now, you, if you have a pipette at home, feel free to use a pipette. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the old fashioned trick of sticking our straw in water, putting our thumb over it and pulling it out and that water will stay in there. So here we go. There we go. A lot of red water, clear as day. We're gonna do the same thing in the cold water now with this straw. So what do you think is going to happen? Let's find out. All right, we can clearly see that the red water stayed on the top. Interesting. So all the cold water stayed at the bottom. The hot water stayed at the top. That's because all of the hotness, all of the heat was, it, it moved itself all the way to the top and the cold stuff, just like we saw with the food coloring, it kind of stayed towards the bottom. You can try this experiment multiple different times, but I wanna know what, what your family discovered in doing this experiment. Share with us in the comments below, and we'll see you next time. Have a great day, everybody.